In this video tutorial, we will show you how to Photoshop lightsaber effects. Launch Adobe Photoshop. Go to the File menu, press Open, and choose the photo you want to use. Go to the Layer menu, click New, and choose the Layer option from the submenu. In the following New Layer window, choose the Screen Mode and click on the Fill with Screen Neutral Color Black box. Then press OK. Go to the Line tool from the toolbar. Click on the Fill option and choose the white color from the drop-down color palette. Click on the stroke and choose the white color. Then set the weight value to 18px. Then go to the affected area on the picture. Go to the Filter menu. Select the Blur option and choose the Gaussian Blur option from the sub-menu. In the appeared warning message, click OK. In the following Gaussian Blur window, set the radius value to 1px and press OK. Go to the Layer menu and select the Duplicate Layer option. Repeat this action three more times. Then click on Shape 1 Copy 2 Layer. Go to the Filter menu. Select the Blur option and choose the Gaussian Blur option from the sub-menu. In the following window, set the Radius value to 10px and press OK. Then click on the Shape 1 Copy Layer. Go to the Filter menu, select the Blur option, and choose the Gaussian Blur option from the submenu. In the Gaussian Blur window, set the Radius value to 20px and press OK. Then click on the Shape 1 layer. Go to the Filter menu, click on Blur, and choose Gaussian Blur. Set the Radius value to 30px in the following window, and press OK. Then, starting from the Shape 1 Copy 3, go to the Layer menu and select the Merge Down option. Repeat this action for all Shape 1 layers and merge them down one by one. After that, go to the Layer menu. Click on the New Adjustment layer and choose the Color Balance option from the sub-menu. In the New Layer window, check the Use Previous Layer to Create Clipping Mask box and click OK. Then go to the Properties tab, choose the color, adjust the midtones with the slider, and select the Highlights from the Tone drop-down menu.